Measuring transmission strength with the data color 850 or 550. Determining dye stuff strength in solution with tools 2.0. First we will examine what is needed to calibrate the 850 or 550 for transmission. The white spectral on plaque that will stay in place at the sample port throughout calibration and measurement. The black card used to block the lens during calibration. And three, the barium coated MAV or medium aperture view plate. For transmission measurements, there are two types of sample holders. The solid sample holder and the cuvette and cuvette holder for liquid samples. The sample holders are mounted to the base by dowel pins on the bottom of the holder to fit into one of three positions on the sample holder base. Position 3 is the closest to the lens for transparent materials. Position 2 is for measuring liquids and with the cuvette and cuvette holder. Position 1 closest to the sphere for measuring translucent samples and to make haze measurements. The base remains in the spectro but sample holders must be removed for reflectance, calibration, and measurement. The side latches on the data color 850 or 550 are used to open the case for transmission. To press these buttons and slide the case back to open the transmission compartment. Now we will run through the calibration within the instrument and software. On the front of the instrument we must place the MAV plate or medium aperture view. In this case, we are removing the LAV plate, or large area view, and replacing it with the MAV plate. We must then place the spectralon tile at the aperture port. The spectralon tile will remain at the port through transmission calibration and all subsequent transmission readings. Now we must access the transmission compartment to calibrate for transmission. We will depress the buttons on the side of the instrument and slide the cover back to access it. Now in the software, to perform the transmission calibration inside the, the software, we'll open the instrument tab and click on the calib button. The specular included medium aperture view, auto zoom, and transmission must be checked. The UV setting should be 100%. Click on calibrate button and the message block the lens is displayed. On the inside of the instrument, you will place the black card against the back portion or the lens of the instrument. When this is in place, click Ready in the software and the instrument will measure the black card. Once the measurement is finished, you can remove the black card. Back in the software, the white calibration prompt is displayed. Since the black card is already removed and the white spectraton tile is already in place at the sample port, you can click Ready to take the measurement. The spectraton tile values are displayed. Click OK. After this, we will go to Forms, then Screen Forms, then click on the Search icon and type in the filter box Strength. We will highlight from Results QC Input Strength. This will display our form for strength evaluation. At this point, we will put the cuvette holder in the middle position of the sample holder base in the transmission compartment. Then we will put our standard liquid sample into the cuvette holder. Once the sample is in place, we will measure the sample. We will click on the Home tab 
and then select Standard Instrument. The screen will display the block box to enter the standard name. In this example, we will type in Red Transmission Standard 1% and click OK. The instrument will take the readings. The measurement shows up in the software and we will go to BAT Instrument Average or BAT Instrument. Then the software will prompt us to input the batch name. In this case, Batch Transmission Sample. Then we will place in our batch liquid sample in the instrument. and we'll click OK in the software to take the measurement. The strength difference for our batch and standard is displayed at 85.66 percent. If we want to change our strength adjustment method we can click on the button Strength Defaults. It will show the options for strength adjustment. A detailed description of strength defaults can be found in our knowledge base. There is also a Strength Adjustment On button which adjusts the strength difference to 100% and shows the difference values at this level. The Strength Adjustment Off button displays the actual strength and difference values. You can then add a button to the ribbon bar for this form by clicking on the down arrow and from the drop down choose Home Bar Options. Then click on the Search option and type in Screen. Then select Forms, Screen Forms from our results selection. Then, from the next dialog, click on the three dots to browse for our screen forms. In the Filter dialog, type in Strength. Then select QC Input Strength. Then click OK and OK to add this screen form to the button bar. Now for some help evaluating your transmission curves. The default strength calculation method is maximum absorption peak. For valid transmission strength measurements, the maximum absorption peak is between 20 and 80 percent. Here is the percent transmission graph for our red with the maximum absorption peak of 45 percent at 520 nanometers. This is well within our recommended area of strength evaluation. If the sample was not within the recommended area, we would need to make stronger or weaker solutions to put the maximum absorption peak between 20 and 80 percent.